All right, so like I honestly guys don't even know where to start like hold on guys well, I think I still have mascara from last night on my eyelash Let me get that off as I was saying I don't know where to start because I mean It's been a long two years. Well, I know I left off um, On New Year's it was like New Year's Eve 2017 ringing in the new year 2018 I thought I was gonna be able to continue vlogging, doing my own thing. I think I may have even have done like a little upload um, video and been like, hey guys, things are busy. I'm gonna try to get back into vlogging. I think I deleted it. But I remember that being like my last video and obviously that did not work out. <laughs> so today I do wanna say I'm doing a old makeup look back from when I was in college and I couldn't do makeup that well. I still can't do makeup super well. And this camera, if it goes in and out and focusing, I don't know, it, it doesn't seem to like black people or some shit. I don't know. I think I really need to sit down and read the manual and figure it out, which I should have done like years ago. I'm trying not to curse, but you know. <laughs> this is so hard. I'll put the picture up of, let me see. I'll do, I'll put the picture of him. This is the look my grandma's calling. Hey, it is your birthday, right? Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Where are you, home? Yeah, I'm at home because I can't go anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, I think only the grocery stores are open or something. Wow. So you cook it for everybody or they cook it for you? They should cook for me. <laughs> Enjoy your birthday, okay? I will. All right. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. I am quarantined on my birthday. So that's a thing. That's what all the... Um, early born Aries are probably going to be quarantined on their birthdays as well. I don't even remember what I was saying. I know I was putting out, said I was going to put a picture of the look I'm trying to recreate here. It was very simple, but I'm going to update it and try to make it uh, look a little bit better, like something. Um, I think I have more eyebrow hair now because there's no way I can recreate this look. I made this oval roundish eye shape. As I was saying before, I, I'm quarantined on my birthday. I literally had to cancel all my plans. Like, I was going to make this the most epic birthday for me like i never really go all out on my birthday i mean i just you know i've hung out with my friends usually my best friend i'll hang out with and um we'll have a good time i had to cancel my plans like i had rented a room at this i think it's a four star hotel um almost five stars and it's very expensive i had an eyelash extension appointment which i had to cancel who is letting people in their in their um Who's letting people touch their eyeballs right now? Like, that's weird. We have like SARS 2.0 going around. Like, who's over here getting the eyelashes done? And yet I saw, like, when I looked up um, to like cancel the appointment and like rebook it for a certain date, I didn't realize that it tried to rebook the same date. And it was like, oh, already booked, like full. And I was just like, yo, y'all really trying to get your eyelashes done? People are over here still trying to look good in quarantine. I mean, I can't judge, because look what I'm doing right now. And so I bet you're wondering why I've sort of just disappeared and all of a sudden just came back and was like, oh, let me do a tutorial, guys. Like, you guys are super interested or whatever. What happened? I don't know. A lot of craziness happened. Honestly, I don't want to get into it because I don't want to be too personal. I kind of feel like on YouTube or any sort of social media, when you're really personal and open about your life, all you get is a bunch of like judgmental trolls. Really the negative comments that just get to you. And I'm saying this like I'm some kind of big YouTube star. I'm literally not even going to be consistent with this channel. Speaking of that, I do have another YouTube channel where I do do astrology and tarot now. I got these brushes. Aren't they so pretty? I actually bedazzled them. They're pretty lit. Like, let me give you another shot. See what I mean? So pretty. I'm putting the makeup on my hand and this e.l.f. concealer, I don't know if you guys even care about the product. Product. It is 16 hour cameo concealer um, e.l.f. The color is medium beige. Granted, I don't suggest this color. I normally go for tan. So I'm gonna be mixing it with Forever Skin Corrector Dior 5N. Let's talk about this look. I feel like this look is going to turn out completely different than, <laughs> than I intended. So in the back back days, I did not wear, I did not wear a lot of um, eyeshadow. What's happening with these brows? Six years later, I'm still struggling with eyebrows. And back in the day, um, I was not a huge fan of thick eyebrows. Granted, the picture, the eyebrows look really thick. It's just not the look I was really trying to go for. I mean, it's just, a, it's, I mean, it's just a mess. They do seem thicker up here and thinner here. I don't know how I'm going to do that. So I'm going back in with Dior Forever. 
hello, I'm the person, focus on me, not my door. Like, I'm trying, but I'm not doing the ends right. I think one of the first videos I ever did on YouTube was a makeup tutorial. People were so mean and then they were saying like how I wanted to be light skin. It was one of the most bizarre things I'd ever experienced. Like I literally just got the wrong foundation color. Like, oh, it's not a bad, big deal. But people were like, oh my gosh, you definitely have um, problems being darker skin tone. I don't know what to say. Like I, I never grew up in a household where that was a thing. Like, I mean, I don't mean to mention it because it's been talked about so many times on YouTube, but I'm just talking about that experience only because it happened on YouTube. There's so many people who are just literally insecure about the skin tone that they were in. I could like, I've never been insecure about the skin tone I was born with. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit darker. This is a mascara. This is a real cheap mascara. This is just, okay, so camera cut off. But yeah, I went in with, um. This is also Ruby Kisses. Uh, <laughs> I can't turn this around. Mocha? This don't look like no mocha. So right now I'm going back in with the Dior concealer that I just put on my face, the um, 5N. Actually, let me put on foundation first. So I'm trying out some new foundation combinations today. This is uh, Coffee from LA Pro Girl. And this is Fenty. I'm not a huge fan of Fenty, I will say that. Fenty's closer to my skin tone. I mean, it'll do, it's not bad. This is a lot of foundation. I normally don't put on this much. I, I lie. <laughs> I'm just naturally glowy. <laughs> the lies. So if you see anything like weird on my neck, that is eczema, right guys? So I have that issue going on. I mean, it's there. I mean, I don't know what else to say. There's nothing I can do. And I'm actually gonna go in with that color that I got in the e.l.f. thing in Hawaii. I got it at Walmart in Hawaii and girl, this their prices, Target. Walmart turned into Target when I went to Hawaii. I was like, where y'all buying these products at? But it was such a fun trip. I, I normally don't take trips by myself and I was like, I love this. Nobody's here to bother me. Nobody, everyone can leave me alone. I'm here in isolation. I don't normally do this look anymore. I did do this back in the day. It doesn't look like it because I really blended it. I think I was really good at blending because a lot of people would stop me and they'd be like, oh my God, your skin is so amazing. And I would be like, thank you. When I left you guys, I was on a weight loss journey, right? I left you guys, I left you guys on a thousand and one cliffhangers. <laughs> I just, um, yeah, I went all over my forehead, but I did a lot. I made my forehead really big because this was back when I was learning, right? And when you're learning, you don't do everything right. Oh my God, this looks awful. Let me look at the picture again. I don't think I contoured too much. I can't not contour these days, but I like to contour with lipsticks. Maybe this is just, I don't know if this is the black girl struggle or if this is just the me struggle, but I cannot find a, a bronzer, a foundation, a whatever, a, a darker foundation shape, con concealer, whatever that just looks right. So I'll usually get lipsticks. Like this one is NK. This is actually, it says lip gloss, but I mean, it doesn't, it's not like a, it's not glossy. <laughs> I think I think they're confused about their own, I mean stuff. Try not to curse for like 50 minutes. That's what this is. And I for this part, I look dead on. I still do this and I go like that. And I go like that. And I used to go all the way to my mouth, so I'm gonna elongate it a little bit. If you know, wanna know this color, this color is seal brown. And so I would go in here and I would go around on the very edges, like right near my hairline. So something I do different now is, um, I now I just contour my jawline, but before I would go like that. And I would go like that. Now I didn't think I did it in this look. Like I said, I don't even think I even contoured in this look, but I definitely added highlight, I know that. Do you not see how beautiful this is? I cannot find any bronzer or any shade or whatever that looks better than a lipstick. One thing I forgot to do, girl, is go in with my neck. So we're gonna do that right now. And I'm going to actually add more Fenty. I'm gonna add more um, LA Girl. So I definitely gotta add both because if I use Fenty alone, my face looks like chalk. Like I said, no tea, no shade to Fenty. I think it's just not good for if you have super dry skin, like obviously dry enough for eczema. So simple look, pretty much almost done. Very tiny eyeliner. Um, so we're gonna follow that. It's starting, it looks nothing like the look, but I really did try my best to follow it. Very teeny amount of eyeliner. I don't really like the way that looks. I'm gonna clean that up. That's better. Blink. And of course they're like crooked. They don't even match. To be fair guys, 
This is the third week, I think. Second week and a half that I have on contacts. I'm not quite used to them yet. I love how I'm giving myself excuses for just being bad at makeup. <laughs> Let's just get into this. We're gonna go into the powder and put it under the eye. As with the contour, I used a white curl. I'm so scared to use this. I'm gonna have to mix it. I'm gonna have to mix it because I can't allow myself to do that. And it comes out to, if you're curious, this color, so slightly lighter. Um, and I'm just gonna put it on my cheek like that and like that. Ooh, curl, I used, ooh, I used to do this. I used to do this. Why? And then I would go in with the powder. I guess it doesn't look that bad. Now, I never used to contour my nose. This is the updated version, Brandy. We're updating it. I'm gonna go in with my foundation and I'm gonna take the lipstick, if I can find it. Is it wrong to be like, to be like, oh my God, I'm so pretty. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, people, no, people act like it's so horrible to find yourself pretty. Like if I go in outside and I'm just like, I think I'm so pretty, people will probably look at me like, wow, she's really into herself. Like she's really full of herself. But I don't think there's anything wrong with celebrating you. Like, I think it's good. Like, I think it's good that people have confidence, that people like themselves, that people find themselves beautiful or pretty or whatever. Um, but it's just like, I hate when you have all these insecure people who try to bring other people down for celebrating themselves and finding themselves beautiful and understanding that they have their own magic. I'm just saying, I mean, haters gonna hate, right? And I still don't kind of do it that much today. I just don't like a contoured nose. I kind of feel like it takes a little bit away from my beauty. I don't know. I just feel like my nose looks better without it. Yo, how y'all let me walk around here single like this? Like, I'm so cute. I mean, yeah, after I put on a pound of makeup, but after that, I'm super cute. I'm gonna end with a blush at this point. I have this random palette. It's super deep. Was it BH Cosmetics? Um, I don't really have that color. I mean, these are the, it's the lightest color that I have. So I'm going in with that. And I went all over my cheeks, so we're gonna have to go all over my cheeks because there's no way I should be going around I'm not being able to find my stuff. This is the Naked Palette Heat, and I'm going in with the color Ashes. And that's that. And that's that. Oh God, where's the lash glue? Just give me a second. Okay guys, I don't know how long the audio was off. Hopefully you guys saw the tutorial and you can see the finished look and the product right now. I don't add like baby hairs and stuff because I'm too old for that. Like I'm almost 30 guys. I don't got time for no baby hairs. That's silly. I'm over here trying to cover up these wrinkles. Or maybe that's just my excuse because I can't do them. <laughs> let me walk around here single looking like this this is crazy I was saying my bright the bright how bright this look looks like I used to do my makeup this bright guys like it was like crazy you guys will see it on camera on camera kind of looks cute it looks real smooth and pretty like I took a lot of pictures and I was like oh it looked nice so I see why I did it like this but now I like stay what I was saying before is I go in and I just stay with this Dior dark corrector I think it's beautiful it matches my skin tone especially when I go into YSL which is like um, UV Saint Laurent um, and they're I actually hate the way it looks in, in person but they're like finishing it's like a powder powder um foundation I put it over top of it and it looks like oh my god it looks like magic on um 
on your skin like it just on when you take a photo but in, on in, in person it doesn't look that great it's the same with this one where in person I'm looking at it and I'm like this is way too light like if I was like talking to someone they're gonna be like what's going on sis what what color are you I mean actually it doesn't look that bad you see how it doesn't match like the quite like my hands a little bit more warmish golden my hands warm golden that's why it matches this one, which is slightly golden undertones. My camera over here, like I'm a chocolatey woman, like I'm chocolate. And like when I put it on stuff on camera, it comes out, mm -mm, no, no you don't. It comes out looking like, like I'm just a different skin tone than I am. Maybe it's all the contour, contour and concealing, but sometimes it does that even when I'm not doing that. Maybe it's just the different lightings and the sunlight and all that stuff. Hopefully I'll continue my weight loss journey and look cute and whatever. And um, yeah, that's it. I don't know how I'm going to, what angle I'm gonna do this as. Am I gonna do it as a recreation? Am I gonna do it as a glow up? Am I gonna do it as a quarantine makeup look? I'm probably gonna do this as a quarantine makeup look. Cause this is a quarantine makeup look. I'm quarantined on my birthday. Yay, shout out to all the other Aries. See you guys around and deuces.